I just got this email from Best Buy. Alexander, please review your purchase for a chance to win a $400 Best Buy gift card. Look, this is what I purchased, but there's a slight problem. You see, I don't have this and Best Buy should know that. I never got it. All right, let's back up for a bit and I'll tell you why I'm never gonna shop at Best Buy online again. So I have these little blink cameras in my house. They're nice because you power them with a battery and you don't need to run long cables, they're wireless. And I needed an extra one. So usually what I would do is just go to Amazon since Amazon owns them. And these are the latest generation. They're a hundred bucks each, which is a little more expensive than the previous generations. Now, if I ordered it from Amazon, I know that they would get it to me today. It's amazing. Their infrastructure and their logistics is just incredible. But then I saw that Best Buy had a nice sale on this and that was my mistake. But this was a pretty significant discount. $59, almost half. Now, usually Amazon runs these sales once in a while too, where they knock half off these cameras, but I decided not to wait and just order from Best Buy. How bad could it be? So I ordered it. This was on April 27th of 2024. And there's my order. It says, get it by Monday, April 29th, two days. Okay, it's a lot longer than Amazon, but I can wait two days. It's not a big deal. The next day I get an email out for delivery. It's the 28th, not even the 29th. I'm really happy about that. I'm getting my package early. Delivery expected by 9 p.m. Nice. Delivery was not there by 9 p.m. The following day, the original delivery date, April 29th, delivery was not there either. So of course I went to track my package and Best Buy site shows the pickup was confirmed and on the way for delivery on the 28th, but there was nothing on the 29th. Like they went radio silent. And then I found this. There's a roadie link here with a tracking number. What the heck is roadie? Roadie is a UPS company. It says deliver almost any item anywhere same day. Not really. Apparently Best Buy, instead of using UPS, they use this thing called Rody. Why Rody? Here's why. Local delivery for any item, any size, anywhere. That sounds pretty good. And this is kind of local because I have several Best Buys in my area. So this makes sense. So it probably saves them a bunch of money. And probably normally it works. But in my case, no. Rody also had nothing under that tracking number for the 29th. But on the 30th, this is when fun things started happening. I went to Best Buy's site and I saw that in the morning, Package is being returned to shipper. Why? That's weird. And then another message popped up right after that. Package is being returned to shipper. Delivery unsuccessful. Recipient too young. What? Nobody tried delivering anything. I was right here. I have cameras everywhere showing me that not even a single person attempted anything. But recipient too young is just too funny. Here we go. Package is being returned to shipper on the way for pickup. That I don't understand. And then package is being returned to shipper arrived for pickup. And then pickup confirmed on the way for delivery. And a couple of hours later arrived for delivery. Package is being returned to shipper delivered. What is up with these status messages? First of all, how messed up is your tracking system that it writes messages like this? Finally, it says package is being returned to shipper delivery confirmation uploaded. The confirmation was up. All right, that's the last message. Now, Rody's website doesn't have all that information, all that wonderful information that's useless. It has delivery attempted and that's it. Nothing else. Signature required? No. Now I got to get on the phone with them. We are currently experiencing high delivery volume. So wait times may be longer than usual. If you are a recipient of a delivery, please press three. Yes, hi. I'm calling about a delivery that I was expecting um, and it hasn't arrived. Can you tell me what happened to it? The delivery was attempted way back April 28th. The item was already returned back to the store. So the best thing that you can do here in order for this delivery to, for you to receive this delivery is you need to contact the store to ask for a reschedule for this specific delivery. We attempted to deliver the item at April 28th around 3.20 in the afternoon. And there is a return note saying that they had multiple items, including TVs, and did not feel compatible leaving the items outside. And Best Buy closes early in Sunday. So the driver decided to return all the items to the Best Buy store. Uh, nobody came to to my door to deliver. I was waiting for this item, but nobody came. And it means it's not able to um, complete the delivery due to the uh, area and safety to leave the items. So the job preferred to avoid any problem and issues, the job preferred to return the item back to the source. Oh, because I live in an unsafe area? Um, not that it's specifically an unsafe area, but the job just preferred to return the item back to the source. So he didn't, he didn't want to complete the delivery? Yes, sir. Is that some pretty common to, uh, for for Best Buy? Um, you know, they they use Rody all the time, right? Yep, uh, Best Buy use Rody all the time. They're just trying to make sure that the items will be not 
will not be a uh, loss or will not have an issue regarding with it deliberately because they will be the one who will um take in charge for that one so to avoid those issues the driver just prefer to return the item so does roadie uh make their drivers pay for any kind of loss to merchandise let's say if it's a driver's fault um roadie tend to um do the research we have a complete department that if the driver's fault roadie will i mean the defenders will just file an appointment with your behalf, so with Rodi, and Rodi will pay those um, insurance, the specific insurance for every gig deliveries that we have. Right, uh, you have insurance, I'm sure. Uh, so I'm just, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why this driver didn't want to drop off a camera that that was fifty nine dollars at my door. That's the only information that they have. Now, Best Buy also tracks the package. Uh, they have their own tracking page. They have something, a note that says here: package is being returned to the shipper. Delivery unsuccessful because the recipient is too young. Do you know anything about that? There's no. Um, information that I know regarding with an 18 years old or 21 years old or above for an adult to receive this item. It's not required. Um, Wouldn't they just leave it at the door, uh, this item? There's no signature required, right? Yes, sir. Um, here's the thing. Uh, actually, you can include that on the delivery notes, you know, for this next delivery. Because you'll be contacting Best Buy right after this phone call, right? And um, this advice Best Buy that included in the delivery notes saying that the driver can leave the items for this specific delivery. Um, then there's no need for him to worry about this. I guess you have cameras in your area as well. Uh, well, the order itself was a camera. That's what I ordered. Oh, I and it's a $59 camera. So it's not that big a deal for the driver to leave it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can actually include that as a delivery note, so in that way it will get me successfully. And I hope so. So you're saying that I need to leave notes whenever I make a purchase at Best Buy, otherwise it won't get delivered? Uh, it's not actually, um, this, this is only my, you know, uh, just a piece of advice to avoid um, returning the item back to the store or to avoid this will happen, not happen again to you, so. Okay, thank you uh, for checking for that for me. So. I grilled him a little bit more than he probably gets, but I just want to know what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here this time around because maybe this doesn't happen very often. But it seems a little odd to me that they would use a like a task rabbit type of gig to deliver valuables to people that they've ordered and do it on time with a reasonable expectation that these things will be delivered and the driver will just not say, oh, um, I don't feel like doing it today. I think I'll just return this back to Best Buy. And perhaps this particular driver, who I had the pleasure of not receiving my delivery from, is not a typical representation of what Rody has. It also says, do I have to be at the location for delivery? It says, no, unless a signature was requested. A signature was not requested. And I don't believe I should leave notes for people to leave a $59 camera on my doorstep. I have no problem with Amazon deliveries. And also, recipient too young? First of all, you even got to knock on the door or ring the doorbell to find out if there is a recipient in there at all. Now, I get that maybe there's buttons that they have to push for statuses and updates that are very close to each other. Maybe I didn't feel like delivering this is very close to the recipient too young button. So, but even with that, will I shop at Best Buy online again? The answer is no, I will never do it again. It's unreliable. I have a couple of Best Buys near me. Why wouldn't I just go over there and buy something if I need it real badly that day? And most of the time, I just won't do that either because you don't really get good help at the Best Buys in my area at least. Have you tried Best Buy delivery and do they use Rody? Let me know in the comments down below or if you had the opposite experience, if you had a really good experience, I'd like to hear that too. Maybe this was a one-off thing. Uh, please leave a comment and this is a weird video. Just thought I'd share it because it's a bit of a warning. Recently I had to deal with Amazon customer service and I made a video about that right over here. Check that out and I'll see you in the next one.